Well, we are in our final week together, week five of our Dawn Patrol sessions. Congrats to you. 21 days of early morning stretching and yoga or wherever this fit into your week. So I appreciate you for joining me and I hope you bookmark these and continue doing them when it feels right. So we're going to start today kneeling, bringing your knees all the way down. Good. And then we're going to step our right foot forward. So we did this in like the very first week. We're going to add on today though, lunge forward, raise your left arm up. Good. Exhale, bring your left arm around, place it onto your low back and then inhale, open up the front of the body. You might have a little bit more room. Good. Exhale, bring both of your hands down for me. Keep your left hand inside of the foot, tuck your back toes for a little support. Raise your right arm up. Good. Remember we jump right in, just kind of quick and easy, stretch, 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 and then you move on with your day. Why are you doing this? To create more space in your body, to feel less stressed, and to give yourself those few stretches to place in your back pocket when you need them. Good. Release your right palm down. Exhale, right leg goes straight, pull it back. Good. Bend the right knee forward. Bring your hands back up to neutral, and then boop, slide that knee straight back. Left leg, step it through. Good, lunge, right arm rises, left hands on my hip slash low back. Reach up on your inhale. Circle, right arm reaches up and around. Exhale, hands to lumbar spine, which is low back. Inhale, open the heart, three. Good, two. Exhale, bring it forward, frame your foot. Tuck your back toes under for balance. Turn your right hand out some, raise your left arm up. Stacking shoulder over shoulder as you reach, lift, and lengthen. Three. Good. Two. Exhale, lower the left palm down. Nice. Straighten left leg. Pull your hips back. Bend left knee. Move it forward. Hands come to neutral. Inhale, exhale. Boop. Slide it back. <laughs> Good job, guys. Inhale, step the right foot forward again, bend forward. Left arm comes up. Now bring the left elbow across the thigh. Bring your palms together. So you've worked on your chair pose twist already. So this will give you a new sensation in your left hip as it sinks forward, hopefully feeling a little bit of this in your core. Good. Inhale, release the twist, bring the palms down. Now raise the right arm back up, tuck your toes again for balance, reach, and then take this right arm back, palm face up, three, two, like you're receiving something in your hand, good, exhale up and over, we take a breath to straighten the right leg, we take a breath to bend the knee, yes you can, we take a breath to inhale, reach, and then exhale, hands to hips, glide it back. Left foot steps. And again, being able to bring that foot forward and back, great mobility, all right? So you're learning a lot along the way. Left hand stays on left hip, right arm rises. Good, place the hand on the low back. Again, inhale, lean back. Raise both arms up, pull them to heart center. Good, exhale, twist to the left. And again, these twists are not just used for yoga and twisting, they're used to release sensation that's not offering you good feeling in the belly. So starting to try to get some of the body moving if you need it. Tuck those toes under here if you need it for balance as well. Inhale, center, we reach. And then we release our hands, good. We twist again. So we ground the right palm, we raise the left arm up. Three. Open up your ribs, two. Good, exhale, release your palm. We go straight left leg, pull it back. We go bent left knee, push it forward. Inhale, arms up, beautiful work. Exhale, neutral, bring it back. Woo. All right, now from kneeling, you're gonna exhale into the balls of your feet. I want you to turn your right foot out to about two o'clock, left foot out to two o'clock or 10 o'clock. Your heels are like two inches apart, that's it, okay? Walk your hands forward, press down through your heels. They may or may not touch, just like that skandasana that I offered you, that groin hamstring stretch last week. 
you may or may not be able to feel that. I guess that was two weeks ago since this is week five. That was in week three. It was the last day of week three that we worked through Skandasana. Good, holding three. Push those heels down, 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 two. And now walk your hands over to the right. Keep the right hand where it is. And then if you want, take the left arm up. Good. Exhale, bring it back. Walk to the left. Stay there or bring the right arm up. And if your back is like, whoa, Marissa, too much, then that's fine. Don't push it. Three. Two, exhale the hands down, bring it back through center, stretchy, stretchy. Good, drop your knees. Whew, beautiful. Now, take your time. We're gonna slowly tuck those toes, press our booty up. Walk your hands to your feet, forward fold. Good, now try to cup the back of the right calf muscle and the back of the left calf muscle. And then pull your chest to your thighs as you feel the crown of your head drop. And then notice if you're further, closer to the ground than the beginning. Have you achieved a little bit of space in your body? And guess what? It does not have to be significant. It can be very, very minimal space. But it's enough to where you might feel a small difference. Or maybe you just feel more informed. You feel more muscularly aware of your body. You have body awareness. Good. Three. Two. It's a long time to fold. You might be tingling. Release your hands. One. Heel toe the feet together. We inhale. Stand up together to close out this final session. Session 21. Five weeks together. Arms up. Four full weeks one day. Exhale. Hands to heart. Thank you so much for joining me for these short and sweet, less than 10 minute intros to yoga and stretching. I hope you learned something. I hope you share them with someone and I hope you feel well. Thanks guys.